and welcome back to my channel. I'm Bex and thank you so so much for clicking on this video. Now I'm a personal trainer and I play golf off a handicap of two. I was off scratch last year but I'm going to keep that quiet. Um, today's workout is going to focus on core stability and leg strength. So two really fundamental parts of achieving that consistent swing. Right, this workout you need nothing at all except yourselves, a little bit of a can-do attitude and yeah, 20 minutes, that's all it's going to take. Right, warming up, we're gonna start off with a walk on the spot. From my room, I can see the golf course. Yeah, so I'm putting my glove on, and I'm gonna pretend I'm walking after a really, really big drive. Right, 30 seconds, walk on the spot. Whew, honestly, that drive has gone miles down the middle of the fairway. Let's just walk after it. Keeping my social distancing. Yeah. Right, we're going to walk on the spot for 30 seconds. 10 seconds left. Make sure you get those arms going as well. Two and one. Now we're going to do high knees. Yep, so lift those knees as high as you can. There's a bit of a march. Enjoy those arms. Now I'm in my room, so I'm on the third story here. But if you are downstairs and noise isn't an issue, you can do some high knees like that with a slight jog. You've got three seconds of this. Right, we're now gonna do knee to elbow. Okay, this is gonna start engaging our core. We're working our obliques here, which are the muscles on the side of our stomach. Really stretch, get that elbow to the knee. Well done. Three, two, and one. Next one, we're going to do opposite foot and opposite hand. So this is going to stretch our quads. The big muscle down the front of our leg. Really pull that foot back as far as you can, okay? And really feel the stretch. Two and one. All right, then do our hamstrings this time. So we're going to keep our legs straight out in front of us and we are going to brush the floor. Make sure you keep that leg nice and straight throughout. Just get your hands as low as you can. 10 seconds left. You're doing really, really good, guys. I'm halfway through the warm up. Two and one. Right, ladies, our right leg. You're going to open the gate and close the gate. So we're keeping our knee nice and high. And we'll open it, start in front of our body, move it to the side, and we close it, start to the side, and we bring it in front. 10 seconds left. You can keep that knee as high as you can. Okay, we're going to repeat on our left side now. So try and keep your body nice and still. And then just isolate that left leg for now. Well done. 10 seconds left on this one. Hopefully you all feel a bit warmer. Ooh, I know I am. Right, what we want next? We've got the golf posture twist. So you can bend over in that golf position. Yeah. And we twist and just to the right. So put your hands on your shoulders and twist back to the center, okay? So we're going to twist. Really get that shoulder as far behind us as we can. Whilst keeping your back at that angle. We're going to do it on our left side now. So twist to the left. So you can imagine. This is like the follow through of the golf swing. Turn the side for you. Don't 
don't want to lose that angle yet. Keep it the same throughout. Five seconds. Right, last one. We're going to extend our leg and raise our arms at the same time, okay? Just to warm up our shoulders. Again, get those hamstrings going. Ooh. Certainly doing this job. It's definitely warming me up. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Right, great. If you need to get yourselves a bottle of water, you can do that now. And yeah, we'll get going in a few seconds. Right guys, I have brought a stool over. So for the main session, it is gonna be 10 minutes. I'm gonna do 10 different exercises 45 seconds on and 15 seconds recovery. And in that recovery time, I'll explain exactly what's happening next and how to perform it. The first one we're gonna do is squat, okay? So I want you to make sure that those knees do not cross the toes. So you're gonna push your bum back and push up nice and fast. If you're gonna find that challenging, you can use a stool or a chair. You know, just sit down and sit back up as quick as you can, okay? So that's the only exercise where you can potentially use another piece of equipment. Right, we are going in 10 seconds, okay? Right. So make sure you've got everything you need. If you wanna sit on that chair, make sure you've got it beside you. Go on, off we go. So let's squat. You have your feet shoulder width apart. as low as you can and then push up nice and quickly. Well done. I'll do it from the side on. Okay, push that bum back. You don't want to round your back, keep your back nice and straight and looking ahead all the time. Ten seconds. Just go at your speed. doing awesome. Right, we've got a 15 second rest now. The next exercise is going to target our core. So we're going to do that knee to our elbow. Three. Off we go. It's important to focus on quality over quantity on all these core exercises. Slip that belly button in and it's gonna just help engage our abs. You can lift that knee as high as you can. Okay, we must keep that belly button sucked in. Right, 
Right, well done guys. Next one, we're going to do a bird dog. So we're going to be on our hands and knees. And we're going to put our right arm out and our left leg out. Then we're going to bring our knee and our elbow into touching. Okay? So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Extend them both out. Pause for a second, get them to touch in the middle. And push back out. This one's all about being slow and controlled. If you lift that leg nice and high on the way back, you're also going to engage those glutes. Make sure you pause in the middle. Right, excellent stuff. Next one, we're going to do a suitcase pickup. So imagine you go on a holiday, I wish. You're gonna have your feet nice and narrow, pick them up, like so. So we want to push our bum back, and push up nice and quick. So it should be nice powerful movement. Again, always keep looking forward. It'll help keep your back nice and straight. We want you to do this as fast as we can. So nice and explosive. Really, really push that bum back. Well done. Come on, 10 seconds left. Keep going. Three. Right, great. We're going back to that bird dog. This time we're putting our left arm out. Okay. Whew. Do it again in five seconds. Right, off we go. So left arm, right leg. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Slow in control with this one. Okay, it's really important. That belly button in. And get that leg as high as we can and work on those glutes, okay? So your elbow and knee should be touching for a second in the middle. We've got two more exercises left. This time we're going to do a side to side squat. This is going to work on our glute medius. So our glutes are really, really powerful muscles. We want you to get low in this squat position. And then we're going to just step side to side. Okay? Stay low. Two more. And we 
कर regular workouts that you can do, you know, weekly. And just keep you in shape, ready for the next time you tee off. Right, next one, we do our hamstrings together. So we'll keep your feet together, keep your legs nice and straight, and we're gonna lower those hands as low and low as we can, okay? Just keep it held. We're holding each of these stretches for 30 seconds. And that's the optimal time to increase flexibility. Right, five seconds left on this one. Right, excellent. Next one. We're going to put our right foot behind our left. And we're going to extend our right arm across. So you should feel a nice stretch on your right hand side. Ten seconds left on this one. Three, two, and one. We we'll repeat on the other side. So we'll put our left foot behind and our left arm across. Again, you should feel it down this side. Really stretch the hand as far across as we can. Ten seconds left on this one. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go down the floor now. This is called an open boot stretch. So you either lie on your right hand side, put your right arm out and your left hand on top. We're gonna take that left hand and extend it across, okay? And put your hand on your knee, 
you're trying to get that hand on the other side of the floor. This is really going to help stretch your back, okay? Let's keep it held. Right, good stuff. We're going to repeat that on our other side. Okay, so for me, if you can now lie on your left hand side. So right arm across, left hand on top. And we're going to reach over. So try and keep that knee on the floor and get your right hand on the floor as well. and get a nice arch on that lower back okay we're now going to push our bum back and stretch our hands out this is the child's pose okay we're going to hold this for 30 seconds